Hey everybody, this is Isaac Wardell with BesidedSocialMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a theme and change your YouTube background to a custom background. Now, one of the things you need to know about a custom background in YouTube is you'll want to create it as an image like a JPEG or PNG, etc. Uh, they're centered. So in Twitter, you usually are based it off the left of the page, where in YouTube, it's centered and then it goes out each way accordingly. Much like this channel, you can see it's centered on the page. Now, the optimal size for a YouTube image is probably about 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. On a wide screen, you're going to be able to encompass more of the image that way. And for even larger screens, you might want to do a fade out on the edge of your images etc uh, one way you can get around that is if you do a color which we are going to do today we're going to do a custom background with a solid color background so that we can change the theme to continue on that color indefinitely now another thing you know is this center part is 960 pixels wide so out of that 2000 pixels you want to crop out about uh, 960 pixels for this center piece and you'll want to do that in the center of your image because uh, like we we said the image is centered and so you'll be hanging off of both sides. I've already created a custom background for our Anderson tools which is the hardware type channel that we've been developing here. And so the first thing you want to do is log in which you can see I've already done. Then you want to come up here to themes and colors. As you can see there's a lot of default ones here that we can uh, use already if the color theme were to fit but uh, today we're going to actually create a new theme. All right, and it's go whatever one you've selected. That's going to be the one that you start out with all the default colors. We're going to go ahead and say Anderson tools is the new theme. Anderson tools. All right. And then we're going to come down here. I'm going to leave the font the same, uh, but I'm going to change all these other colors. But first, I want to upload my background image. So as you can see, I saved it here on the desktop. And it's going to upload it and give me a preview of what that looks like. All right, and as you can see, here's my nice orange background, kind of a Home Depot lookish background and as you can see I've uh, done a little bit on this side and a little bit on this side it's centered so the part in here is just dead space alright now I can look at the colors that I've got here and I'm going to start to create the rest of the colors change them how I want to now if you're using Google Chrome there is a plugin feature called color pick uh, in Firefox there's a plugin called web developer you can also do a snap snapshot into something like a graphics design program such as uh, Photoshop, GIMP, uh, Paint.net, uh, etc. to figure out which exact colors we are using. Uh, in this case I'm going to use color pick in Google Chrome and I'm going to select this color. It's going to give me the color code for that. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to actually close that. And now for background color, I'm going to come up here. Now what this is going to do, as you can see, this is gray right now if you get too far down on the screen. So I'm going to paste that new color, and it's going to change to that orange. Now when I scroll down, it's the same color as the background color in my image. And this is what I was talking about. It can be indefinite. If you're using a custom background with lots of photos and stuff like you might see on other types of channels, like I said, you may want to fade it out on the edge. All right, so we've got that uh, color going good. Uh, we've got some other colors, so the wrapper color here, that's this little gray part as you can see right now, it's set to a gray. Let's see what would happen if I change that to a, uh, whoops, when I click on it, it's going to bring up a uh, thing. Let's change that to a black. All right, as you can see, it just all of a sudden changed all the border to black, which fits with my color of my lettering. But as you can see, the color text wrapper, it... Uh, matches the same color so now my channel name doesn't show up so let's go ahead and change that to let's change that to a light gray as you can see it shows up there but over here it's not quite so let's uh let's go with a darker gray um all right you can see it shows up there and there the 
uh, shows up here just fine. Uh, I'm going to leave this for right now because I'm going to see when we get to these backgrounds and change those colors how good those show up. Uh, I'm going to leave the link as a blue. I like blue because everybody knows those are links that's consistent since the beginning of time with the web. Uh, I'm not going to do a transparency. That would give a transparency on this. And I'm not going to do a repeat background. All right, now palette. That's these other little boxes that you can see that are called palettes in YouTube. So let's change those. And uh, let's do a... Um, Let's just try that orange color that I've still got and see what would happen if I did that. All right, same color, but I don't really want it to be the same color as my background because I want some distinction. So let's put a 10% transparency on it. And all of a sudden you can see it's a little darker. Um, still not fond of that, so let's try a uh, let's try a black. And let's do a 70% uh, transparency and see what that looks like. All right, not doing much. Formula, let's try 20%, still not. So uh, this is sometimes you gotta just do trial and error. So let's try a, uh, let's try more of a different type of orange. And let's do a no transparency. All right, as you can see, uh, fits through, doesn't really fit with the black though. So again, just a little bit of trial and error here. Um, let's actually just go back and try that that orange that I had. And let's see if what would happen if we did a, a 10%. All right, that grays it out just enough to notice that it's a little bit different off the page. I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, but as you can see now, this gray doesn't show up very well. So I'm going to pick another color here. Let's go with, um, let's go with a greenish looking, uh, not quite dark enough green. Um, let's try this green. All right, doesn't really fit with the orange, so I'm going to keep playing with that. Um, again, the black is out because it would match the same color up here. Let's try that. That's a little more darker gray. I think that uh, that'll work there for now. Again, because this is a demo, I'm not worried about getting it exact. Just want it to look reasonably good. You're going to want to spend more time and figure out exactly what colors best fit you. All right, and then um, background uh, text color on here. Let's try. Um, let's try putting that a black. See if that helps us out any. All right, and you can see all of this stuff just changed to black. All right, so now the last thing I want to do is click Save Changes. And that's how our new theme looks. Now I'm going to bring it up in another browser because you can see it says subscriber, but you can't really see the subscriber arrows. This arrow is a little off. Uh, if I were going to have this as a professional channel, I'd go back and make that a little bit smaller so that it showed a little bit better. But, um, oops. And as you can see, it has it's asking you to subscribe right here. This is a, this really helps your channel to tell viewers what to do so that they'll do it. And that's how you customize your channel and put a custom background and customize your theme for YouTube. Uh, to see more YouTube videos, you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash besidedsm, our website, besidedsocialmarketing.com, or you can come to our Facebook page to give uh, suggestions for new videos or comment on uh, current videos that you would like to see uh, post uh, posted. So if you have a question about YouTube, go ahead and post it over there and we'll see that it's either answered on that page or it works its way into a new video that we've got forthcoming. Again, this has been Isaac Wardell and thanks for watching.